Welcome again. In previous tutorial, we have seen how to make this portion dynamic. In this tutorial, we will see CACPHP pagination. So CACPHP has a component called paginator component. So using this paginator component, we will apply pagination in here. So first, if you see in your debug kit in CQ log, we will see a simple query which has been executed for this rendering, rendering view. So now you can see here I have applied limit tree. At first I will remove this limit tree from our method home. So I'm just removing this limit tree and then save, then go in, go and reload our page. We will see all contents from our table and you can see there has five contents because our table has five contents. So now if you go in SQL log again, you can see it's a SQL simple without limit. So now we will apply a paginet here. So for that, I'm going to uh, going in line 22 and I'm just writing this paginet and then a pass bracket and end of my bracket. And if you save it, you go in browser and just reload this page. And if you go your SQL log again, in this time we are seeing a limit and it's actually come for this paginet method. This paginet method actually uh, we come from paginator component. So we didn't declare any component uh, in app controller because uh, it's actually by default attached by CACPHP. So we have to just write this paginet to use the paginator component. So here we have used this paginet uh, method. And then we pass these articles, that means this query. So that's why we are getting this query now. So you can see this limit 20 means that every page will contain 20 uh, articles. Uh, that means we will see in, in a page 20 articles in a page. So, so now if we just change it, if we just want to make it 3, for example, 22, I, I want to make, I want to see three articles in a page. So if we, if I just want to like this, so uh, I have to go in here and then I'm going to give a comma here and writing an array. And here I'm typing limit and giving the limit three. So now after save, if you go in your browser and reload your page, in this time you are seeing three contents, one, two, three. And if you go in your SQL log, you will see there is a limit three. So now we have to create the view because we have to go the second page to see rest of our data. So for that, we have to go in our home.php and here we have to write a um, code for our view. So CACPHP has a helper class that's also called uh, paginator. So there is a two paginator classes, one for component, one, one, one is actually component and another is helper class. Helper class actually used for view and con component actually used for controller. So component for controller, helper for view. So now here I'm just giving a uh, an order list and then finishing my order list here and in here I'm just giving a question mark and equal and then this page in natural and numbers so these numbers actually will uh, give our total page number so this page editor actually a uh, that's called the helper class and now if you just save it and go in your browser after reload your page then you can see that two page number is showing this is one one two three and if you click in two then you will see the two data 
so we will change this design so for that i am just applying a simple class called pagination if we just reload you can see now in it is in line so now we have to give this two arrow sign one is for the previous and another is for the next so we can use another method one is in here and another is after this uh, number so it will be previous there is a method called prep and we will give a string like this and another is called next so there is a string like this so after save if you go in your browser then then reload the page it, it will look like this and if you click in here you can see there is a two and when you will click here you can see there is a three so see in your url click this two then you will see page two and this page two actually has two contents and when you will click in one then url has been changed now here actually giving three contents so in next tutorial we will apply a bootstrap design in here so for that we will create a paginator or pagination template that means using the dry method then don't repeat yourself we will follow this strategy to create a design uh, for our pagination in next tutorial so let's see the next tutorial welcome for the next thank you